Hey everyone, this is Ditto from Reef to Reef. Today I'm going to show how easy it is to install an expansion module onto your Profilux 4E. In this video, I'm going to be installing a Salinity pH card onto my Profilux 4E. On a Profilux 4E controller, as you can see on the back of the unit, you only get the temperature and the pH slash ORP port. Unlike other manufacturers of controllers who have you install additional modules and cable them into the unit, GHL allows you to install the expansion modules directly into the unit. This allows you not to have to worry about cabling and finding a place to mount the other modules and provides a clean, sleek look. Here is the module that arrived yesterday from GHL that we are going to be installing. GHL offers a wide range of modules that can be installed. The steps outlined in this video are the same for a Profilux 4E, Profilux 4, and expansion box. So, let's get started. First, Make sure the unit is powered down and flip the unit over. On the bottom of the unit, you will notice four screws. You will need to remove these four screws. With the cover off, you now see the inside of the controller. You're going to see these four wires that go to the LED display on the top of the unit. To the left, you have your two expansion slots. You're going to remove the black spacer to one of the expansion card slots. With the expansion card now unboxed, you're going to notice this connector. This connector on the card is where it's going to align here on the controller. You line up the connector on the card onto the controller board. It's very simple. Once it's lined up, you press it down and the expansion module is now installed into the unit. Now with the card installed, it's time to put the lid back on. Go ahead and put the lid back on top of the unit, flip the unit back over, and you would install back in the four screws. With the lid back on, we'll turn it around and you're going to notice that the Salinity pH card is installed. I still have room for an additional extension slot. It's very sleek and clean. We're done with installing the card inside the unit. When I power up the unit by default, the ports will be disabled. I would go in, enable those ports and calibrate the probe ports and those ports would now be ready to use. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was pretty easy, as you can see, to install a module into your Profilux 4. This is Ditto, signing off.